Hi there, this is Rob from Reason101.net and uh, I'm here to show off a, a combinator patch that I created. It's uh, a 12-way filter effect with, uh, with a shaper included. It's a bit of a complicated patch, um, but I'm going to give you a brief history about it. Um, what happened was a friend of mine, Hydelide, who uh, has his own site here um, called The Sound of Reason, and uh, the path to his site is here if you want to jot that down or um, go to it later on. Uh, basically, he was talking about one of the videos I did, which is a four-way filter, which can select between all, all Thor's four filters. But he was saying that it's the only device in Reason that can um, select the different filters on the fly. So that got me thinking about um, going into um, going into record and creating, um, adding more filters to an actual combinator so that you're not just selecting between the Thor filters, but you also have the ability to select between um, an ECF-42 and a Maelstrom filter using the A and B filters for the left and right channels. Um, and at the same time, I also wanted to be able to select the shapers for the Maelstrom and the shapers for the two Thors. I'm using two Thors because um, because the, the Thors are monophonic uh, when it comes to the voices for the, uh, for the filter one slot. So I'm using two of them here in case you want to insert um, a unison device between them and fatten up the sound and do what you want with it. So anyway, um, so the reason I'm using uh, the filter one slot and not the filter three slot for a global filter insert is because, of course, you have the ability to use the shaper um, with Thor. The other thing I wanted to do was I also wanted to be able to uh, use the envelope of the ECF-42. So all of this is packed into one little combinator. Um, and uh, the reason why it's a 12-way filter is because you get to use all, of, uh, all four of Thor's different filters here, the low pass, state variable, comb filter, and formant filter. Um, you also get to use the three modes of the ECF-42 here, the band pass 12, the low pass 12, and the low pass 24 modes. And you get to use the five modes of, um, sorry, the five modes here of filter A and filter B of the Maelstrom. So that equals 12 different filters that you can select from. Uh, so the way it's programmed is you've got um, on the first rotary, you're selecting between the Thor uh, four of the Thor filters, um, all different filters here, and um, on the ECF, what you're doing is you're selecting between the modes, okay? And in the Maelstrom, what you're doing is you're actually selecting between all the different filter A and B types. Okay, so that's what that's doing. Um, rotary two and three, you're just selecting the resonance. Um, on three and the frequency on rotary two. Um, on the fourth is where you deal with your shaper and it doubles as the shaper for both the Thor and the Maelstrom um, and also if you have the ECF enabled it acts as the envelope for the ECF and you turn the envelope on using button four for the ECF um, or you turn the shaper on for Thor or the shaper on for the Maelstrom on that fourth button. Now the way this is the way I've developed this um, really you should only use one at a time okay um, I didn't really think about designing it to use them all at once I mean you could but mainly it's designed to have one running at a time so if you run the Thor if you turn this button on you'll see that the Thor mixer the master is at 100 uh, if you turn it off and you turn the ECF on that master is at 100 um, this button over here turns the Maelstrom on, that filter. Um, and lastly, the mod wheel changes the shaper type um, or it changes the ECF velocity. So using this, you really have a lot of control over all three of these different filters or all three of these different devices and all of their filters inside. So let's just um, play through it. I have a little uh, Thor patch here. Um, that's being triggered by a matrix pattern um, sequencer. And I'll just play around with some of the different knobs and you can hear some of the different sounds. Um, one thing that you have to keep in mind is if you um, play something, like I'm playing it right now, nothing is being sent out. You actually have to have one of the filters on 
to hear anything. Okay. Um, if you want to still hear the sound, you're gonna have to actually bypass it so that it goes through the, the combinator and this is your clean sound. Um, the reason I did it this way is just I just didn't have enough, th there were just no more rotaries or buttons left. <laughs> so I couldn't really program anything more into this thing. Um, the other thing is when you're playing it, you probably don't want to have the, um, you don't want to have the, the shaper, you don't want to change the shaper. So let's turn on the shaper here. Let's turn on the Thor. Okay, so we've got a shaper. You don't want to change it while you're playing it or while you're recording it because you'll hear those audible clicks um, that you sometimes get when you um, when you actually bypass. Uh, when you press this button, you'll hear those audible clicks. So you don't want to do that. Um, what I would do is just set it, forget it, automate it, and keep it at that level at all points in time. Um, and this, of course, selects the different um, shaper waveforms for both the Thor and the Maelstrom, depending on which one you're, you're using. So let's just play through it a little bit. Um, you've got your frequency here. And I also have an envelope that's triggered by this matrix down here, um, which is going into your ECF. Okay. This is going to change your envelope amount. This is going to change your envelope velocity for the ECF. Um, this will change the filter type. Okay. If you want, you can turn the Maelstrom on. And we've got to turn that down because the shaper is going. And again, this will switch between the, the filter types. This will select your shaper type. Or you can turn it off. Of course, this turns the Thor on, and you can select between all the Thor shapers. So this is a low pass when it's over here. Then it goes into a state variable over here, set to high pass mode. Let's open this up so you can see what's going on. Okay, you can select a combinator, or a comb filter rather, inside the combinator. This changes your resonance. And you can take the formant filter, this changes your X parameter, this changes your Y parameter. Again, this turns the shaper on. And it selects between all the different waveforms down here. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's the way this, this little baby works and you can download it on my site. Um, for those of you that don't know where my site is, it's really simple. Just type in reason101.net, hit enter on your Google search and uh, you will get to my site. And there it is. So um, hope you found that interesting. and. Uh, yeah, come visit me when you can, okay? Thanks.